Hi, um, this is Ushnasha Ghosh. I'm, uh, I lead the work for Impact and Acumen Fund. Um, I specifically look at post-investment support where we help our portfolio companies gain access to customer insights, which helps them um, get better impact as well as um, also help them in their business outcomes. Um, for me, I think this, is, this was a great opportunity to come down to the development dialogue here in Hubli, uh, especially because Acumen has been um, in some ways or the other involved with development dialogue earlier. I think it's just inspiring to hear and see and meet so many people, uh, whether it's the entrepreneurs, whether it's government agents and everybody else who is involved in development dialogue. So I think development dialogue for me strikes just the word um, zeal and enthusiasm for people to come together and try to solve issues which are extremely hard, not something which you can replicate from somewhere else, but actually start ground up innovation. That's what I would think development dialogue is. Um, sandbox ecosystem to me, as, as closely or as far from where I see, is a great opportunity for um, people who do not otherwise have access to so many different parts of uh, the entire system change, which I think Sandbox is bringing it together. And it's great and amazing to know that it's not just in one location now, it's spreading its wings. Um, and I hope more and more regions will have access to this kind of an ecosystem. I think for me, the most important takeaway was to have conversation, to reach out, feel free to actually learn from others' experience, not be afraid to ask questions, and uh, just be just be open to listening to what is happening around. So I think that will be my takeaway. So if I think ahead and think about the work we do at Acumen Fund, which is mostly with for-profit social enterprises, um, it's interesting to know this side of the world where it's it's mostly non-for-profit and see how we can collaborate and think of learning from the non-for-profit side, which will be probably a lot more applicable for the for-profit social enterprise side as well. So we'll be definitely on a lookout to see what is the upcoming development dialogue about and what, how we can think more around it. I think um, the, the uh, format of the development dialogue can be a little more inclusive in terms of, I think, um, whether it's audience related or like, uh, you know, because I think the morning sessions were so interesting, but I know a lot of people had a lot of different types of questions or even contribution to what problems people were speaking about in the panel. So I think a, a better way of making it a more two way than a one way thing. I know it's, there, are, there were some sessions which were, um, but that would be great. And I think the second part is just about um, also being inclusive about, I think, the impact investment sector, because I know this is a more non-for-profit side, but I think there is a lot of learning which even this can this side can take from the impact investment sector. So I think more and more, um, you know, players from that sector, I did see a couple of funds, Ankur Capital, etc. I'm here from Acumen. But it'll be great to also see other participants from the sector coming in for the development dialogue. So, so one one last thing about specifically because of the kind of work I'm involved with, it is I think increasingly um, important that we measure and think about how and what interventions we are doing, um, and actually take a step back and think about it from the point of view of the beneficiary or the target customer we are serving, and think whether the products and services or interventions we are looking at actually is designed around them. So. Hence, I think there's a feedback loop needed, which all the entrepreneurs here who are working on different projects, different interventions should, should think a little more about. Uh, so I'd just like to leave uh, that as the last note. Thank you.